Hey guys, welcome to another DBMS tutorial. Today we will be talking about types of data models. All right. So before this, I have made a video on data models, but many guys get confused between types of data model and categories of data model. Many commented on the video saying that these are not the types of data models. When I had specifically mentioned that those were the categories of data models. So here I am making a video on types of data models, and I'll also explain what is these categories and what are the types. Okay. So we'll look at it in details today. So first thing, what are we going to learn today? We'll learn what are the categories of data models, and then we'll learn the types of data models. All right. So let's get started. First thing, what are the categories of data models? In that video, I have explained all the three categories in detail. So if you want to learn about categories of data model, I'll put the link in the description below so you can go and check, or I'll put the link above in the information button. All right. So there are three categories or three main categories we can say of data models. In which we can categorize the data models. All right. So these are not the types of data models; these are categories, broad categories in which we can differentiate the types of data model. First one is called high-level or conceptual data model. The second category is called low-level or physical data model, and the third level is called or third category is called representational or implementation data models. All right. So these three are the categories of data models in which we divide the types of data models. All right. So let's look at the types of data models now. These are the types of data models that are present. First one is called entity relationship model. The second one is called relational data model. The third one is called network model, and the fourth one is called hierarchical model. All right. So these are the types of data models. So if the question comes, what are the types of data model? These are the four types of data model. I don't want you guys to get confused between types and categories. So here I am explaining it in detail. So let's look at each type of data model. And in which category they fall, all right? So as we have seen, we can look at this chart or this diagram. There are three categories: high level or conceptual data model, representation, representational or implementation data model, and low level or physical data model. These are three categories, and in each category, we have got different types of data model. For example, high level data model, we have got an entity relationship model. It's it's category. It falls in the category of high level data model, all right? Then we have got representational or implementational uh, category in which we have got the three other data models, which are the relational data model, hierarchical data model, and network data model. Now, if you want to know about low level of physical data model and what falls into that category, basically you just go and check the video on the categories of data model. All right. So these are the main types of data model. There is no type of data model that falls uh, specifically in physical data model. All right. So these are the four types of data model: entity relationship data model, relational data model, hierarchical data model, and network data model. All right. Now, first, we'll look at entity relationship data model. What does that mean? As the name suggests, in this data model, what we have got is multiple entities that represent real-world objects or concepts, such as an employee is an entity or a student is an entity. All right. So there are multiple entities in this data model. And every entity has its own characteristics, all right. And these characteristics are called attributes in this data model, all right. Then we have got the connections between different entities. Now, just having entities doesn't make any use, all right. So it doesn't make any sense. So hence we have to do the connection between these different entities to represent the data about them, all right. So this connection between different entities is represented as relations, all right. So we we'll look at an example so that you understand this concept much more easier. First thing, let's say we have got two entities over here, employee and project. All right, and like we said, each entity will have its own attributes or its characteristics. So these attributes are what for employee, employee ID, employee name. All right, and then we have attributes for the project. They are called project ID, project budget. Now we have got the attributes. We have got the entities. But how do you connect them? Well. This employee works on a project. So, what is the relationship between this employee and project that the employee works on? So, works on becomes the relationship between these two entities. So, this is the basic of entity relationship model. All right. Now, let's look at the next model, which is called relational data model. A relational data model uses the concepts of database as collection of tables. All right. Now, in this table, each so in this database data model. Each table is stored separately as a file, all right. And all the database operations are done with relations between the tables. Now, most relational databases use 
high level language like sql we'll look at an example so that you understand what do we mean by tables and what are the different components of relational data model so let's say for example we have got a table called or we have got a relation called account all right now this account table we have got three columns all right these columns are account number branch and balance amount so these three are the attributes of the entity account all right don't get confused between entity relationship but i'm just telling you the terminology like how you know from the last example all right so account number branch and balance account becomes the attributes of the account all right now what about the row each row represents the information related to that row itself all right so let's say we have got an account number over here called 4567 now the account numbers related branch that is the branch where the account number is is baroda and the balance amount of that account number is 500 so all this information in one row is related to each other so this row is called tuple in relational data model now you'll ask what about the table uh, sorry what about the column now as you can see over here for example branch now we have got branch mumbai baroda london all right so these are all called domain you know why because this is a single type of information branch will contain only the type of information of one type that is it will have information about the branch account numbers will have a only information in one type of numbers all right so it will be in that one data type only similarly balance amount will be in integers or let's say we'll have some decimals but mostly in, it will be numerical value so it will be one type of information in one column hence it's called domain so these are the different parts of relational data model now we'll look at an example how relational data model works all right so let's say we have got two tables over here as i had told you in relational data model you have the connections between the different tables to get the data or to do the processing on the database basically let's say we have got two tables over here one is account and the second one is called customer details all right so another thing you need to know is in relational data model a table is also called relation all right so this is just a small detail that you need to know all right now we have got two tables over here account and customer details now how do we connect these two tables can you see something that is common in these two tables all right we have got the column account number which is common in these two tables all right now what this is called it's called a key basically all right You, if you want to learn about keys i have made a video on that i'll put the link in the description if you want to learn about the keys you can go and check it out all right so i'll give you a hint or i'll give you the idea in general basically let's say you want to find out let's say a customer wants to find out what is his current balance all right as we have seen multiple uh, banks have this option called miss call number where you give a miss call and you find out what is the amount of balance that is there in your account all right so what that person does is that person gives a call to the specific mobile number that the bank has provided now the software receives a call from that number and it goes into the customer details to check which account number is associated with that mobile number now once it gets the account number in the table it will go and check that account number in the accounts table all right so it will be like let's say amy is calling from her number the system will get the call from this number and it will be like okay fine just find out what is the account number associated with this mobile number and it will take that account number and it will go into the account table and it will be like tell me what is the balance related to this account number so 1 2 3 4 is the account number the balance amount is 400 the software is like okay now let send an sms saying that your balance is 400 so this is how you get information between tables and you connect the relationship between them all right so this is how relational data model works now let's look at the next type of data model it's called hierarchical data model now this is a very simple data model it is basically organizing the data in a tree like structure all right let's say we have a company and that company has multiple departments each department has multiple employees but one important factor of hierarchical data model is that each child node will have a single parent node remember this it's like a tree okay so each child node will have only a single parent node 
let's look at an example let's say we have a company over here all right and in this company we have got multiple departments it department marketing department and finance department all right now each department has two two employees let's say it department has employee a employee b marketing department has employee c employee d and financial department has employee e and employee f now employee a cannot work in it department and marketing department at the same time neither can marketing department fellow work in it or finance department at the same time all right so that's how it is each child node will have a single parent so this is what hierarchical data model is it organizes the data in tree like structure now what about network model network model is also like hierarchical model but there is a difference what is the difference that in network model a child node can have multiple parents not like hierarchical model in network model a child node can have multiple parent nodes let's look at an example let's say there is a school and there are only three teachers in the school let's say in, uh, in a primary school all right now the school has six classes okay and each teacher teaches two main classes and maybe an extra class also so teacher one teaches class 1 and class 2 teacher 2 teaches class 3 and class 4 but class 2 is also taught by teacher 2 similarly class 4 is taught by teacher 2 and teacher 3 also all right so one child node can have can okay not must can have more than one parent node so this is the example of network data model so this is what we have learned today there are total four different types of data models first one is called entity relationship data model then comes a relational data model then comes a hierarchical data model and finally the fourth type of data model is called network data model if you have got any queries any doubts feel free to ask them in the comment section below hey guys so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section below if you have any suggestions please write them in the comment section below if you like the video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much